one, I just wanted to touch on this. Um, I'm sorry if it's too short, but um, today we'll be talking about nomenclature and how we name things. So, nomenclature is um, defined as a name or the process of naming. An easy example of this is um, John and Jane Sussman go to the store. John, Jane Sussman, and the store are all examples of naming. Um, yes, uh, naming and nouns are for distinguishing multiple things. Um, so I've come up with this myself. It's not actually real, of course. Uh, um, but the first I call are generic names. Um, these are like... Uh, it doesn't show the preview. So like uh, store, restaurant, mod, thing. These are your uh, regular everyday objects that are commonly referred to. Um, and they're generic. Uh, next are lossy names. These are like J, Sarah, Oliver, Modfest, or Class. These are non-specific um, things and people. They're things that can be referenced and inferred by context. And then you have discrete names. Um, discrete names are specific things. Uh, they're referenced directly, and the way it's used implies that one discrete name must not refer to multiple things. So, for example, the namespace Batania or uh, the block Minecraft toilet block, or that UUID. So, uh, why is this important? Well, we're making Minecraft mods with assets that need distinction from each other. So, uh, here's a brief history of mod IDs in Minecraft. Not mod IDs, uh, generic, normal IDs. So, uh, this is an example from 1.7.10. Uh, vanilla IDs used to have a limit to how many you could have. For example, block IDs had a limit of 4,096, and blocks could only have 16 states. Um, also, entities, you can only have 256 of these. So, mod ID, Minecraft IDs, uh, not mod IDs, Minecraft IDs used to be very limited. Uh, this is in contrast to 1.13, which removed user-facing raw IDs and then replaced them with named ones. Um, in 1.2, Minecraft prepared the Anvil format for the use of 4096 unique block IDs. However, this was not utilized until much later, but Forge was using this hack since 1.4. Prior to 1.13, it was possible to exceed the maximum ID limits. Uh, these are what I call lossy names. This is where mods like Endless IDs and Not Enough IDs came in. This, of course, was hacky. 1.13 was therefore a beneficial update for modders in Minecraft in general. Or so it seemed. Okay. Post 1.13 IDs were flattened, turning the previously lossy names into discrete names. However, the uniqueness of these IDs comes into question when you realize how people pick mod IDs. Uh, just as limited IDs were once an issue, clashing IDs are an issue now, kind of. Different mods can, at any point, pick the same ID. This can be useful to, for instance, re-implement an API from another mod, like Qfapi using the Perfides field. However, that is distinct from making a mod with the same mod ID. Um, the point is that it's easy to reference these mods. You don't have to copy-paste a UUID. But when you're not doing this, it can be harmful. Even with namespaces, clashes still can and do happen, albeit rarely. So what can we do to prevent this? Well, we could use unambiguous um, mod IDs instead of acronyms, create a database of IDs to prevent clashing, uh, coordinating with other modders about prevention of clashing, searching on the internet, which is somewhat unreliable, and uh, we could also start using UUIDs.
Now, some good examples of uh, namespace naming are um, sodium, WTH is that, uh, lithium, um, stuff like that. Who's playing that? Anyways. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Um, uh, now, um, another good one would be uh, just the words architecture underscore extensions, which is very unambiguous. Unless um, someone, you know, makes the same mod with the same name. Uh, however, um, some examples of bad namespace naming are uh, acronyms like WIJ, YQH, or WTHIT. Um, or just random letters. Don't do that. No, it's not. It's actually, um, widges, is widges ID actually widge? No, it's, um, it's a world in a jar. So it should be pretty un unambiguous. Um, so using full words, yeah, 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 that's just for the command, though. Uh, using full words, um, is better for naming your namespace. Um... Uh, and having a fallback, uh, having a fallback with commands to your full mod ID would be good. Um, personally, I think WTHIT is um, not very good because, again, it's an acronym. Uh, also, you should not call you, you should not call your mod example mod or Minecraft. Those are also examples of bad namespace naming. So, now the issue is that you want to make your mod ADs um, as unique as possible while making it easy for players to use. You need to remember that players will be searching your mod ID or using the slash give command. So, um, what do we do about this? Well, in short, I don't know. I started working on something called modb, which stores mod IDs in it finds on Modrinth and ones that are submitted to its database. However, this is obviously very hacky, and I don't like it. So, um, then what can be done? Well, Modrinth can add uh, support for ID searching. Um, modders can create a better, more formal database, or we could simply do nothing at all. And uh, that's it. Um, it's very short. Uh, thank you for coming to my talk. I just wanted to briefly touch on um, how, you know, there could be some problems with uh, mod IDs clashing. Unfortunately, this is a very short talk, and I didn't expect it to be this short, but, um, you know, next time I probably will work on this more instead of procrastinating, because I only f I finished this yesterday, believe it or not, and only uploaded it yesterday. So, um, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in now. Um, so, Applied Energistics uh, recently, uh, too, recently switched to using the mod ID AE2. Is this an uh, acceptable unique acronym or an ambiguous one? Well, I mean, it really kind of is about opinion because um, I'm not sure if anyone would pick AE2, but there's always the possibility that someone would. Uh, there are only so many, uh, <laughs> yeah, ass eaters too. Yeah, what if someone makes a mod like that? Um, uh, so, you know, what... It, there are only so many three-letter mod IDs that you can have, and it's a lot, um, a lot less than if you just said applied energy to or applied energistics to or something like that. Um, yeah. Um, so I don't know. It it also depends on how big the mod is. Like, um, if you have a really popular mod. Uh, the chances of someone taking the mod ID are slim. This is why I suggested uh, mods having their own unique UUIDs so that clashing mod IDs don't completely mess with each other.
So why not do have why not do a Discord? Have a UUID and a mod ID and automatically assign a discriminant. Um I can't read the rest, but um uh <laughs> why? <laughs> why? This is terrible. Uh, from Stony Hoof, do you think including one's username in the mod ID might be a good way to get around mod ID issues? Um, I think that's a very hacky way to do it, honestly. Um, to be, to be, like, honest here, I, I think that's a really hacky way. Just, just imagine, like, um, having, like, sylv underscore world in a jar. That's, that's weird. And confusing. Like, for users in slash give, yeah. Um, where can I find your ID database? Well, uh, actually, I can put a link block really quick. Um, here, I'll, I'll put a link block right here to a uh, GitHub. Um, you could use Java namespaces, so like, com dot whatever dot sub mod okay so i made um a link block and uh like vix uh vix did suggest uh you can use a um Uh, Vic suggested you can use um, uh, Java namespaces, which is an interesting idea. Um, maybe we could have like a secondary mod ID that you use for depending on it. Uh, yes, provides is a thing in uh, Quilt Loader and um, Fabric. Uh, when do you think a lack of a proper ID? mod ID database will become a problem. Um, well, I mean, I think already um, some people have been having issues with uh, people copying their mod IDs intentionally. Um, uh, but um, uh, really, it's, it's not really a problem. I just kind of, you know, I'm kind of trying to solve a problem that doesn't exist. But um, it it is technically there, technically speaking. Um, so it could become a problem in the future, especially when there are a lot of mods using the same um, mod ID. Yeah, bot said static data incident. Um, I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but basically, I think someone took uh, uh, the UUID f or sorry the mod ID from um, the mod static dash data and uh, used it in their mod, and um, didn't use uh, provise or anything. They just kind of copied it and um, uh, put a broken version of it in their mod. Um, anyway. Uh, what would be a reasonable length limit for the mod ID? One of mine is Dumble Jump Attribute. Um, I think, um, like, a reasonable one would be, like, uh, around, like, four words. You gotta keep it simple enough, but also make sure that other people don't, um, uh, uh, don't use the same mod ID. Um, apparently, f uh, 256 words. Apparently, Forge limits them to 63 characters. Uh, yeah, I, I think um, uh, that is kind of an arbitrary limit, but um, keeping it down to, like, four words, like, for, like, anything like, like this, like, this is kind of the maximum double jump attribute. It's kind of reaching the maximum. Uh, has a conflict ever happened in the wild, except for example mod? Well, um, as far as I know, there was an incident with uh, static data, which I just uh, touched on. Um, 
Yeah, uh, Tilda Justin said, using the mod ID as an identifying factor in the first place feels like a bad idea, akin to data storage by username, in my opinion. Yeah, it's kind of like how Valve um, uh, doesn't even let you change your username um, or, you know, whatever they do. Um, I... This is just, uh, I, I just heard this somewhere, but apparently uh, Valve uh, uses um, the username as the, you know, some, some databases use the username as the, um, the uh, primary key, which is not a good idea if you want people to be able to change it. And yeah, it only uses it for login. But anyways, um, that's why you probably should be using a number ID or UUID. Yeah, mods tend don't tend to change their uh, mod IDs like people change their names. Well, um, that is true. Um, uh, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put that back on the screen, Soul. This is this is revenge. There's nothing. Uh, from Anonymous, what could happen when stuff clashes or same namings are existing? Is it just not going to start, or are there going to be bigger problems with something? Um, uh, yeah, so it just doesn't start. Um, the way Quilt Loader and Fabric Loader handle it, it just uh, refuses to start and um, tells you, uh, the mod resolver tells you that they're duplicate mods. Uh, do you have any ideas about naming packages and classes for mods? Um, by Luna the Lemon. Um, uh, well, you should probably pick something, like, uh, with your username. Like, for example, uh, me dot, um, self, uh, 256 dot, uh, whatever. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Generally, um, if you buy a domain, um, you can also uh, easily... Um, if you buy a domain, you can um, more easily have a unique uh, package ID. How could this be coordinated? Modders not a part of a system might just not conform. Uh, yeah, that's sort of the issue. Um, that's why I suggested uh, Modrinth adding a way to search mod IDs which honestly should have been a feature in the first place, but I don't know. Um, yeah, so th that is actually kind of the issue. Um, would UUIDs solve the static data issue, though? Wouldn't they have just copied the UUID as well? That is also another issue. Um, some um, There's nothing really stopping you from using the same mod ID. Um, so... Uh, that's always going to be an issue, honestly. Um, a mod ID format. Hash of all of the contributors' usernames plus mod name. Well, I'm not sure. That that is... I mean, this whole this whole presentation has just been a joke, honestly. I'm doing it seriously, but... Let's be honest, nobody really cares. I guess some do, yeah. I mean... Yeah, um, I, I did also want, I just wanted to make sure that, um, you know, earlier modders knew not to use uh, acronyms. Um, whenever you're making a popular mod, I think that sort of kind of exempts you, but still um it's not really a good idea the modern implementation of listing namespaces sounds interesting is um is there anything planned for that already uh well you're probably going to have to look at their uh roadmap um or ask a developer because um yeah uh uh i i don't know basically uh, Slimus said, uh, mod isn't popular when you start writing it, though. Yeah, um, that is that is uh, an issue. Um, Applied Energistics 2 did recently change its uh, mod ID, like someone said. So, um, uh, you know, I guess that is kind of the exception and not the rule.
Uh, what's in the chests that are backstage? Um, well, uh, I guess you'll just have to download the world yourself to check out yourself once it's done. Should IDs include uh, special characters like Slash so we can have stuff like Minecraft colon stone slash stairs from Hugman76? Um, they already do. Yeah, they they already do sometimes. Um, like if you search up um, architecture extensions in Emmy, um, you can see that uh, you have to press F three B or whatever I think or no F three H first. But you can see that um, they already do. Um, yeah, uh, um, that is an example of it. Uh, it's usually used to like distinguish like different um like uh um re-implemented block types uh naming conventions are also important in things which aren't namespaces are there other things to consider besides and then it just ends right there um standard something uh i'm not sure what the rest says but um there are things that you want to consider, like, uh, for example, um, you don't want to pick, like, a generic name, like, Foo Bar, like, something that already exists, like, Foo Bar 2000. Um, or you don't want to pick something that, um, you don't want to pick something that uh, is very generic. Um, just usually using, like, your mod's name should be good enough. Standard Java naming conventions or mix and method preferences. Okay. What if a mod site were to incorporate a automated ID generation system of sorts for their mods, where each each one has a uh, something? It won't let me read it. Um. So. Uh, this sounds interesting. Um, you need ID number added to their base ID. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, maybe, like, if, for example, um, you have two AE2s, but, like, really, I think that um, it should just be uh, something that tells you um, if it's if it's already... Taken. Uh, yeah, the unique number should probably be invisible to the user. Um, really, yeah. I, honestly, at this point, this just loops back to UUIDs. Like, we should just be having a separate UUID for each mod. So that if a clash does happen, um, you can have both mods loaded at the same time. Is changing namespaces in mod development a breaking change, or is Minecraft slash the modelers able to handle it with data fixers or or something? Um, uh, well, um, I think I, I don't know much about data fixers, but I believe um, it's uh, I think that it uh, data fixers would help maybe i'm not sure uh but that's yeah again that's if you want to use dfu which uh dfu is absolute hell uh could there not just be a fallback id if two mods conflict for example uh changing automatically to example mod underscore one um actually that's also a pretty good idea um i think uh there could be like a list of fallback ids that you could make um, um the loader would have to keep track of which blocks are added by which mod, which yeah. is hard. Um, the Epic Block said that I don't think uh, UUID is needed, though. Not using acronyms that are likely to conflict is enough. Yeah, again, this is sort of a rare thing. Um, I just wanted to touch on how you should uh, name your namespaces and what problems that could cause. Um, and from Anonymous, uh, how does the display read books? Um, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> uh, 
uh, it look at parses the code yourself. The, it, it uses the uh, command computer to read the MBT data. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, um, it was very short. Um, but uh, I hope you, uh, I don't know, enjoyed this, I guess. Um, yeah.